Hey everybody, welcome to the manifestation video. And today I wanted to talk about the law of assumption. And this is a verbiage that Neville Goddard used uh, when uh, he suggests to use visualization and imagination, right? And manifestation is all about, you know, the first law of manifestation is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Uh, you might have heard me say multiple times, which is whatever you, the idea that you that is held in the mind, as an imagination uh, materialize in the physical form because uh, thoughts direct energy, the spiritual aspect uh, translate into a physical form. That's the order, right? Not the other way around, but the consciousness direct energy. That is the only direction that we can create, right? And the law of assumption is interesting. So what he means, Neville Goddard means by law of assumption is because he uses the term assuming the wish fulfilled right so in the manifestation process we talk about you mentally picture in your mind's eyes creatively visualize and when i say creatively visualize in this case means that you choose to picture the image that you would like to uh, create and because there are a lot of people who uh you know imagine something that they don't want uh, subconsciously or automatically, I should say, as a default state, right? So in this sense, creatively visualize means that you choose to originate a mental picture because conscious mind can choose and can originate, right? So that's the usage of creative. Uh, when we use creative, um, referring to that a conscious mind, right? And when you picture that, and when you start living as if you're already there, even though in the physical world, we don't have that and we don't see that yet, we want to change that state of being first and then act from that place and then you will receive it, right? That's the be do have is the order of the deliberate creation, right? Most people, when people live outside in, getting caught up that, with the a, a third dimension, the physical world, uh, we want to see that and have that we we need to have the evidence of sense in order for us to be able to do something and to feel and be some something right or somebody be uh, feel like we're somebody uh and then in the one of the a basic example is that uh you want to have this in order for you to be able to do that so you can be happy that's the that's the typical order that people think when they are getting caught up with that third dimension the physical world uh when we understand who we truly are and when we understand that we possess the power to create from within uh holding the picture in the mind's eyes and then to do some necessary work and the necessary work is to shift the subconscious conditioning right because we have a certain uh, way of operating at the subconscious level so that needs to happen uh, sooner or later it translate that image and a feeling into physical form now in this process of perpetual transmutation of energy to utilize that law of vibration law of attraction we also need to have an assumption an assumption is basically an expectation that you feel that and you are there already in vibrationary even though you don't see that in the evidence in the outside world but you expect that that is going to happen without being attached to the outcome. And being attached to the outcome is interesting because whenever we are attached to something, uh, it's the fear that makes us do that, right? If we trust that it's already here, and when you start feeling, using the imagination that you're already there, you don't need to uh, fear coming that because you fully trust. So some of the verbiage that I use interchangeably is assumption and expectation and faith are sort of interchangeable here, right? So you assume the feeling, you expect that to happen and the expectation, because you're expecting that to happen because you're feeling already that, because it comes from within you, the action needs to be congruent with the expectation, right? And because you believe so much in the power that you have, that you believe when you believe uh, when you believe a certain things, it becomes true in your life. 
when you hold that energy, the fuel within you, it manifests in the physical form because you have a strong faith in that creation process, you stay in that energy. And the reason I'm emphasizing this is because there are a lot of people who uh, wants to believe in the manifestation and they get sort of pulled back into the uh, physical evidence and the behavior, the way they act, um, sometimes is not congruent with what they want to believe. So they're doing that work internally, but then action-wise, it conflict contradict with what they want to believe. And in that contradiction, even at the very last minute, when you contradict that, when you create a contradictory action, it means that you're not believing, you're not expecting, you're not assuming that that is going to happen. And it's not that the outside is not reflecting, but you're actually breaking that energy circulation of manifestation. Does that make sense? So low assumption, when you assume and when you expect and when you become faithful with that result manifesting in your life because you believe in that process of deliberate creation through consciousness directing energy is a key. And sometimes, you know, because uh, we talk about effortless manifestation, law of deliberate creation, people think that it's going to come to us, which is true. But in order for that to come to us effortlessly, we need to hold that energy of faith, hold that energy of assumption instead of contradicting. So one of the good practice that we can do this week is to assess and evaluate that, you know, this is what I want. Okay, now using the imagination and I'm holding that picture and a feeling and emotion of it. And you're doing that practice maybe when you are doing that creative visualization practice, but when you have your eyes open, when you do that a day-to-day -day thing, are the action congruent with that assumption? Because often when the action is not congruent with the assumption, you're actually in that moment, uh, not vibrating in that assume a desire fulfilled place. So uh, low of assumption is something that Neville Goddard talks about and it's about expectation, it's about faith. And when you believe in the power of yourself by believing, manifesting, um, basically, you believe in your belief, right? Uh, it's going to be much, much more powerful. And you are that much powerful to be able to create. And depending on where you put your thoughts, where you um, hold your belief, uh, the outcome is going to be different. So I hope that makes sense. And let me know if you have a question. And I'll see you in the next video.